the importance of faith. Most of my videos on YouTube are explaining why we all should believe Christian truth claims. That Christianity is true. That is not what this video is about. Some years ago I was talking with a young man who has since then come to be under the employ of Campus Crusade for Christ and we were talking about apologetics. Uh, he remarked to me that in a sense apologetics isn't important. After all, usually people, if they are intellectually honest with themselves, uh, don't really have a lot of serious intellectual problems with the faith. Instead they have a serious moral problem with the faith. What is important, according to my friend, is getting people to care. Was this man a prophet? I only ask because one of the buzzwords uh, of internet skepticism right now is apatheism or apatheism. Uh, this neologism is a marriage of apathy and theism or apathy and atheism. Apathetic theism. I don't care if God exists or not. YouTuber Sisyphus Redeemed uh, recently posted a talk given at a Freethinker meeting on the topic of militant apatheism. In that talk, the speaker, who I think is Sisyphus Redeemed himself, uh, says that if God appeared to him in bodily form and told him that he, that is God, was real, uh, so that there was no doubt in the speaker's mind that God really did exist after all, the speaker says that experience slash knowledge would not affect his life one iota. He then explains that most everybody, he thinks, would respond, or rather not respond, in very similar ways. Uh, even if Veritas48 and Bill Craig and Josh McDowell and Evangelical One can prove with absolute certainty to the satisfaction of all skeptics that God absolutely must exist beyond any doubt, we may ask with my friend from Campus Crusade, so what? That God exists if we Christian apologists are successful uh, is an interesting metaphysical fact but how does it really impact our life today? As a matter of fact uh, most of the people in America today if my impression is correct already do believe that God exists they, don't, they just don't seem to care too much about that fact. It has little if any impact on their daily lives they might go to church when it's time for a wedding or a funeral, um, and they may uh, go and watch The Passion of the Christ or the Book of Eli, uh, but uh, were they once blind and now they can see? Were they once deaf but now they can hear? Were they once dead but now alive? And that, dear friends, is the radical difference that Christ makes in our lives. We don't even have life at all unless we first have Christ. If you are apathetic about the existence of God, even if you believe he is real and you occasionally attend church, then yes, you have good reason to take the existence of God more seriously. Christ died not to make metaphysics more interesting. He rose again not so that dusty old philosophy books, which nobody reads anymore anyhow, uh, could, ha could be published. He died to give you life itself, and that more abundant. The existence of God does matter, my friends. It is the question which each man, woman, boy, and girl must answer for herself or for himself. Shalom to you all, but here is the catch. Shalom is only possible in Christ.